JJ Jinx! Truck Stop Knives! JJ Jinx! Truck Stop Knives! I'm trying to be a little quieter because it's in pretty early in the morning on a Saturday. I don't want to wake anybody up in the house, but um, yesterday I got a package in the mail. It was originally supposed to be a part of my birthday video, but uh, because of circumstances, the shipment came later. But I got it now. I have a little bit of time. I figure maybe I'll have a look inside. That box is right here. The all too familiar Bud K $100 mystery bag. Well, this is different. So in that box came a smaller box with this Mystery Shit Hits the Fan gear tape that's got a gas mask on it. All right, let's go through these one by one. First, we have the mini black utility pocket knife by the Bug Out brand. This is the same brand for the Bud K Knife of the Month Club that I got last time, uh, except it was a big chunk and fixed blade. And in fact, it says mini utility knife implies that there is a larger one, but I don't know if that's the case. So what we're looking at is a, a pretty thick plastic uh, knife here with um, a little bottle opener, um, Phillips head screwdriver on the back spacer. We've got a carabiner to clip it to stuff, a hexagonal hole and a shark fin hole. Um, and then there's this odd black thing here, which is actually a button for an LED light. And the knife blade swings out like so, comes around the back. Um, it's not very comfortable in the hand. It's very stubby and it's a teeny blade with an oval cut out for some reason. And it's got the uh, bug out logo on it with a few little impressions right there. And it's all held together by hex screws, it looks like. So it's basically a slip joint. Uh, pretty good detent, though. Bug out. Next thing I want to look at is this Survival Plasma Beam Rechargeable Lighter. It's what you get in the box is um, a couple of smaller boxes. I guess it comes with two rechargers. Is that what I'm looking at? Let's see. Okay, well, the picture on the box is a charging cable, but in the box is shoestring. And then here you have a very short, uh, looks like a standard uh, mini USB cable, and a little brush for cleaning, I guess. So I'm guessing that what's in here is... Um, Two electrical contacts and a plasma beam goes across them, kind of like a stun gun. Oh, that's cool. The cap is spring-loaded. Oh, and the top springs out. Did I break it already? Oh. There's got to be a button somewhere. Ah, maybe that button. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. So if you can break this housing off, you can almost use this as a stun gun, right? Neat. All right, next let's have a look at this trench tool. I'm assuming that's what that is based on the shape. And yeah, yeah, it's one of those collapsible, basically a shovel with a, a serrated edge. Basically just unfold it and everything sort of locks into place and you have yourself a little shovel by M48. Next, let's have a look at this portable USB camping lantern by Trailblazer. Okay, it's a little kind of half dome thing with a rubbery lampshade sort of deal. And you get a power button. Oh, it came with batteries. That's nice. Um, and that's really bright. <laughs> Oh, and it's got different brightness levels. Cool. And then you got this um, piece to hang it on stuff. 
But how? Oh, okay. Ooh. Well, that's interesting. Okay, I don't know what it means. There's a, um... It looks like a electrical contacts on the other side of this thing. So you unhook this so you can hang it on something and then plug it back in. But what is the deal? I thought it was like an interlock. So if, if this falls off something, maybe the light won't turn on. But it says to charge via portable USB cable. So I guess you stick this into a USB port and that's how you charge it. Uh, that's pretty neat, actually. I've never seen something like that before where it you don't need an external cable. It's just kind of built in. So, nice nice uh, design. Next, let's have a look at this uh, two-way radio. Um, an easy-to-read LCD screen, programmable keyboard, 128 channels, 400 to 520 mill megahertz range, Vox mode, voice prompt options. Features an emergency alarm call and an FM radio. Includes a headset, a belt clip, lithium ion battery, and a wall charger. Manual. There's the unit itself. That looks like the battery. Charging cable. Charging station. I guess the only flaw I can spot so far is that it only comes with one. <laughs> so. They sort of force you to buy another one, right? I mean, okay, plugs in like this. Oh, that's not a power button. I misread it. It's a VFO MR button. I don't know what that means. Oh, there we go. What? <laughs> and you got your some buttons on the side. I guess I should read the instructions first, shouldn't I? I like the color on the screen. Oh, wait, where'd it go? Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, here's the radio. If I keep playing that, I'll probably get a strike on YouTube. <laughs> Every little thing by the police. I like that feature. If I'm like stuck in the middle of the woods and all I got is this radio where I gotta, you know, hey, is anybody out there? Anyone hear me? Then, while I wait for a reply, I can listen to music. Menu. It talks. Squelch. Confirm. Squelch. Confirm. Oh, and that button activates a light. And a flashy light. Cool. I like how it makes that bloop sound when you do it. Here's another feature. It's the uh, charging cable comes with a rattly thing. And finally, the canvas army belt, where we have the silhouette of a guy holding a gun, a um, couple of helicopters dropping some dudes down, and you got this famous scene from Platoon where Bravo Company is uh, marching its way into the bush. Um, a guy in the kneeling position. A couple of jets flying above a guy with a gun. Um, nothing on here says U.S. Army. It just says Canvas Army. So this is the Canvas Army, everyone. The sister unit to the Leather Army. You can find the Leather Army in a biker bar, probably. Canvas belt. Not much to say about it. They kind of make it look like a, a legitimate government issue piece with all these uh this printing on the belt face but um and it's just uh it's just a belt oh that's tight and so here it is all laid out to be completely honest this is the most disappointing mystery bag i've gotten in a very long time it's it, it might be the most disappointing one and here's why uh, it only came with one knife, and, and um, it was just a, this cheap little thing. Kind of a cool locking mechanism, but nothing to write home about. And that's friggin' it! The rest of it's, like, survival gear and crap. Um, I think what ended up happening, because, and I got this in the box as well, advertising 
you know, what's in the box, the primary box, the pro box, the elite box. And so looking at this, it looks like they gave me the pro box. Well, this is really freaking disappointing. This isn't what I ordered. I wanted the $100 Bud K mystery package, not a shit hits the fan subscription box. So Bud K just, I guess they're just not doing it anymore. I guess they're, they're just, you know what, you, you paid 50 bucks to get a $100 mystery box, we'll just give you one of these. No, th this is not what I wanted. But if this is what they're gonna do from now on, then I'm done with Bud K. I'm not buying them from them anymore. The mystery boxes and the shit hits the fan survival boxes are now one and the same, folks. Um, they finally pulled the trigger and did it. And I'm disappointed, some people might not be, but this is just not for me. I, I miss the old days. I want to go back to when it was random cool stuff and not just like these kinds of things. The thing is, if you want a box of survival gear, then put that in your cart. If you want a box of mystery general stuff, don't advertise it as such and then send you this stuff, okay? Um, I'm done with this stuff. Uh, disappointed, Bud K. Disappointed.